Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Mario Golf Super Rush. Today, we are heading back into the action, checking out a new character and new course. Very excited for this one as we head into some speed golf. We'll do high score this time since we did best time last episode. So let's go into that. Looks good to me. And down here we have what is for right now the last character we need to check out, Wiggler, who has a power of 226 and blast away balls on impact. We sort of ran into Wiggler last episode as we were competing against different players. Seems interesting because really, really high stamina, but pretty low on other stats, which we don't really see too many characters with nearly that high stamina. It looks like you know Donkey Kong is pretty comparable and Bowser, uh, but it seems like definitely the higher power characters are typically those who also have high stamina. So with that being said, let's get started with Wiggler, so cute. And then we'll do that. There we go, get all the CPUs. Down here we have the All-Star Summit, a Mario themed course featuring coins, clouds, blocks, and beyond. Wow, it looks so cool. You can see all the different characters sort of cut out in the in the grass. That is so interesting. Wow, okay, so we'll do all 18 holes. Look at all these characters. That is so fun. And when it comes to the tees, we'll do standard special shots on wind normal. So I think that everything is looking good here. Let's get started. This is so interesting. See, we're playing Wiggler on the All-Star Summit, was unfortunately not featured as one of the characters, but Hey, maybe next time. Whoa. This is so cool. Got all these sort of coin rings too. This one's probably gonna be a difficult course, but we'll go for it. Yeah, we got some really large holes to, to go to. I think I'll do a little bit of a turn like that. We'll see how that gets us. But we gotta run over real fast. Wiggler's charging. <laughs> gotta watch out for Wiggler. What I'm curious about though are these big star coins, right? Whoa, I collected it. I wonder what that does. I guess it fills up my energy for a special. That's so neat. We saw some of those in the last episode, but I never really was able to go for them. So far though, I think I'm fine with doing this with that nine mile per hour one. I'm a little concerned. That's not gonna work out, but I guess we'll find out together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're on the green. That's what matters for the most part. Okay, we're just gonna slowly walk over, I think. Gotta be careful of all the sand we're coming up on. Maybe go this way instead. We got the nice on. I could use my special here. Just sort of trying to knock them all out of the way. Problem is, it's getting over there. We're going so slow. Go, 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 go. Okay, got it. Going for the special. Oh, I can't do that while putting. Totally forgot. It's so weird that we're putting on this because it's such rough terrain. No, there's a sand bit there. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, now I can use a special. Now I can use a special. Well, this is this a good idea even? No, it's not. Everybody's already making their shot. <laughs> okay, that's regrettable. Nice. But I tried, you know? We're gonna try from there. Come on, get in, get in. Ah, uh, no, I'm on limited time here. <laughs> Yikes. So not a good start here on the All-Star Summit with Wiggler, but that's okay. We're getting used to it. Right now we get one point. We're going in the hole too. Huh. I think hitting it straight down should be fine. Probably could have topped that out a little bit more, but it got a little antsy. So we'll charge forward as Wiggler does. The problem is the distance isn't very big. I wanna run over here and then hit this star coin. And that fills me up all the way. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna charge again. And we made it. Okay, this one's a bit of a concern. Because I don't want to hit it straight off the side, but there's also a sand pit. Definitely tricky. Okay, I think we're in a good spot to charge forward. And it's gonna land right where I wanted it to. So my question is, how do I get up there? I feel like only special characters could get up there for that star coin. I don't really need it, of course. I'm trying to be careful. So you run past Rosalina's face. Everybody's landing all over the place. I think Toad just went, or Toadette just went overboard. Oh, not quite. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, so this is if I wanted to. Or I could use the special. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it too much, especially with that backwind. Oh no! Oh, okay, we can go through the brick block. I got scared that that was gonna knock me back. But that gave me coins, which I don't really need at the moment, but you know, it's a thought that sort of counts, right? Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Wow, Toadette with the chip in from so long of a distance. I don't know how to feel about this one. 
Oh no, it might get in and it might not. Ah, darn. That really stinks. Yeah, it's gonna end up being five shots. The holes here are huge. Pretty crazy. Looks like Koopa gets in as well. So how's our score gonna look here? Um, I get plus two points. That's gonna keep me in, in fourth for now. But uh, we'll keep going. Oh, well, Luigi gotta land right on his nose. So this is where I could use my special. It might be worth our while since we, it's just one stroke. Ready? I'm going to wait for them actually. Let's get set up. And this will be our first time, well it's not our first time checking it out, but Wiggler gets so mad. Puffs and puffs and then fires out everywhere. Okay, how did that go? It did knock a lot of them out of the way. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Wow, we're going so fast this time. So I guess if Wiggler uses their special, they get in this angry mode where we just move so much faster. So using that to our advantage is definitely interesting. Oh, look at how close that was. Come on. Okay, but we're gonna get it in, we're the first one. That's a big game changer. And Wiggler's back to being happy. Good job. Oh no, but poor Todette fall onto her doom down there. Where is she even? She's struggling. Oh, she just fell again. She's gonna run all the time at this rate. She has an entire minute though to figure it out. Oh no, I guess once it reaches one minute. I thought that was counting down. All right, well there we go, plus four points is gonna at least time me with Koopa Trooper. We're getting somewhere. Okay, this one's a bit nerve wracking. We need to line it up with the Yoshi. And I got first before, so it does give me some time to figure it out. I think I wanna go for Yoshi's hand. I think there's less obstacles over there. Which in some ways is a bit rough, but some ways is good. Guess we'll be getting less coins and stuff. But overall, with the wind in mind, I think that was a good move. All right, ow, we hit the wall. That's not what I wanted. Tempted to get that coin, but I think it's much more important just to get her ball. Come on. Wiggler is so cute, though. Wiggler is definitely the, one of my favorite enemies in the Mario games. I'll do a little bit of that. We'll see how that shot lands us. And then I should be good just to charge over this rough. It's such an open area, but you can tell the train's not even. Here's our chance now. Oh, it's straight, actually. It's actually quite smooth. Come on. There it is, awesome. So we get a birdie, we're the first ones in. Things are starting to look up. I think we're gonna be able to catch up to some of these guys. I really hope so. <laughs> So after we're done with this course, we do have a solo challenge that's new I wanna check out. I didn't even notice before, but Toad is riding on Yoshi for this part of the course. That's so adorable. Yeah, it's looking real good. It doesn't really matter who gets it in at what time, like when you're in fourth place, it doesn't matter how long you take. It's it's still gonna be one point. So definitely the, the way time works is different with this than it is the best time. There we go, we are now in first place from last to first, just like that. So we're now going from Yoshi to Toad. Ready? Oh, still quite a far shot. I think I wanna land right here near uh, Toad. Oh, he's gonna toss that. I think this is a good spot to end up. Have a bit of a backspin. Everybody used their specials as well, so I think it was a good move to try to, that's not fair, to keep away from all that, you know? Okay, luckily this goes on for a while. The problem is now I gotta get across all the sand, but they're all stuck. So maybe I could wiggle around them, you know? <laughs> you know, because we're a wiggler. Can I jump on you? That doesn't do anything. Hmm. There are no hearts on this course so far though, which is a little weird. There is some wind involved, but I think that the curve that we're dealing with here is a little bit more of an issue. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on, can I get up? Yes, I can. Sort of, there we go. 60 seconds. Oh, my ball is still rolling. Come on, come on. 
And this looks like a straight shot. Let's hope for it. Oh, we're not gonna quite beat Charge and Chuck. You're kidding! No! Come on, that's gotta be it. There we go, okay. So because of that, if I could have gotten in before, we would have gotten first place. But since I didn't, it's a fourth. Yikes. It's okay. Well, actually, no, Tidette would have beaten me no matter what. Okay, but I could have gotten a second place. But we're tied, a three-way tie for a uh, second. So this is getting a bit intense, to say the least. I don't quite have enough for my my special. But if I could just run over real fast, do a little jump across here, and then we charge. Got it, we got it. Okay, looking good. That stamina's making a big difference. Look at how close we are. That's gonna be so easy, right? There it is. Nice. Okay, so we got that one, no problem, I think. As long as nobody got a hole in one. It doesn't look like it, so we beat out to dead. Yeah, we're on the Monty Mole at the moment. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Was Monty Mole even a golfer in this game? Maybe, I can't remember. I think so. Either way, we're gonna keep moving. We are now back in second place, but not too far behind Todette. Now we're gonna go on the Koopa Paratroopa. Well, that is looking like interesting terrain. Is that gonna be a harder material? This is certainly where I could use my special, if not just to get up a little bit more, you know? I think that's a good move. Oh, Wiggler's gonna be all angry and everything. A little fruit shot. Oh gosh, this is always too scary. We got it though. And now we charge. Gonna wait for him to get in front of me. And then I charge through him, it didn't work. Oh, come on, that was baloney. <laughs> Wiggler's sound effects are a little scary. Okay, I need to wait. Oh no, we landed in the rough still? No way. Such a rough situation. What's crazy is that because of these star coins, we could actually have two specials in one hole. Okay, apparently that was a nice shot. I guess we'll find out. Oh, come on, that's a little silly, isn't it? Come on, please, please, please. Stop rolling, stop rolling. It's just not gonna stop. What is with this? Okay, so next time avoid this material at all costs. Luckily it eventually stops. Uh, the wind is four miles per hour. I think if we do about here, should be fine. Wiggler's anger has subsided. <laughs> Mine has not. I, I no, 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 stop, stop, stop! Uh, <laughs> I was trying to press the button again so it stops the charge, because sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. That's how I was doing it with Shy Guy before. I don't know, this game is silly sometimes. Very unfortunate situation. And I'm already going to get fourth place, so having five strokes, six strokes, it doesn't really matter. It's still gonna be one point. <sighs> That's rough, because we we're finally starting to get closer to them. We still have a lot more holes, so it's not really too much to worry about. We're still tied for a second. As we head in the hole, eight, we're not even halfway through. About to go over a mushroom and onto Peach. Hmm. One of my chances here, if I go full speed over to the right, that is gonna be a huge risk. One I may end up regretting. But will it reach Peach on that side? I don't think it did. Okay, penalty area, so I'm already removed a stroke. I sort of want to snag this coin so we can make up for that. Because at the least, hmm. Maybe it's not worth messing with. I'll save my special for the next one. Man, I got into the thing again. This course is so tough. Look at how little spacer is there to actually land on the green. Okay, come on, please, we're on the green. Oh, come on, and now the special's coming to get me. Can we get it quick? Go, no, come on, I was so close. That is not fair. Can I get it in? Almost. This is torture. Nice. Every bad thing is happening. It's gonna send it straight in. That's gotta be it. Uh, the problem is we got last again. 
I feel like every bad thing that could have happened to me happened there. I know I took a couple of risks, but I really feel like I needed to. Maybe it's not worth taking those risks anymore. All right, so we're still trying to land another one on Peach. This one is gonna be at the top of her crown. Okay, let's see how that works. I think that'll be fine. Okay, run, run, run. So far, so good. Charge again. Almost there. Almost. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to try my best. Oh, this is so tricky though, because that's all sand down there. I don't know how to do this one. I think something like that might be acceptable. It's just this harder material is so scary. Cause it's just, and we land right in the sand pit anyways. That is just way too much. The bunkers are everywhere. Luckily this is a very shallow bunker. This might be the shallowest bunker I've seen in the game. So that's interesting. It's hard to stay on the green if we can. And go, go, go. Well, let's see if we can't just finish this off with a special. We could end up knocking them all out of the way. Come on. There we go, there we go. Please don't go too far. That's it. Uh, yikes. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, whoa, that was scary. Uh, come on, go, go, go. Got it. All right, so I think, well, we got first in time, but remember, we're also focusing on strokes. We beat Koopa Troopa, we beat Toadette, but will we beat Charge and Chuck? I think so. So we got a first place finish, it'll be an extra four points. And more than that, Toadette's only getting two points. So that's gonna be some good cash-up situations. There we go. Oh man. Every hole is gonna count for this one, I can already tell. Get plus four points. We're only three behind Toadette, so I need to consistently do that now. Looks like we're wrapping back around the Mario, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this course so far. I think it's really neat. I think I'm okay hitting it here. Even if it's in the deep rough, I don't mind that as much. Hmm. Let's go for it. Let's see how it goes, because there's a pretty strong tailwind. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Charge and Chuck this time, but one coin. I don't think we'll be able to get any of them then. Okay, but for right now, I'm in the bunker? I cannot believe that. I guess I really did go a whole lot farther than I was anticipating. But you know what? Maybe that's not too big of a deal. Maybe we could just, uh, do a bit of that. See what that ends up getting us. As long as this is not in the bunker again, you know? That's all I'm hoping for, no bunker shots. And we actually got across that really well. This could be our chance. Could I get an amazing chip in from the, the rough? Not quite. Should have gone for a super backspin. But will Koopa or Toadette be able to beat me with this one? So far, best in time. And it looks like nobody's gonna beat me in stroke count, so we're doing good. Yeah, I think we got this one as well. So that's huge. We just barely beat Koopa Troopa. So that's gonna be another plus two points on Tudette. So I think we're tied with Tudette for first now. Guess we're about to find out. Oh, I'm still one point behind. I'm gonna get ya. All right, 11 points. Nine mile power wind to the left. I think we want about here. Okay. We're back on Rosalina. I could end up using my special here. It actually, it's gonna be worth doing. Everybody else is using their special, right? So they'll be there by the time my ball lands. So it should knock all their stuff out of the way. And now I got this super charge too. So if I land it right, I could maybe even knock some of them out of the way. Didn't quite happen. That's okay, I'm the first one there. Wiggler's stamina definitely proving to be useful. Oh my, somebody still has a special though. I might wait for that to be done. I think I want about here. I don't know if we'll get it in with the shot, but it's gonna be close. Oh, most. Darn, 
Okay, tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. There it is. The three strokes, 46 seconds. We just have to worry about actually nothing. Now that they've all made it to three. Okay, I think that finally puts us back in the lead. But we're not out of it just yet. We need to stay consistent now. Because if not, they'll just catch up again. We're at 30 points, so that's at 29. Luigi, though, got to land where? On his cap. Ready? So this should be fine. I should not land in the bunker. There should be no bunker baloney. And I'll sort of go up his little overall strap and that should be fine. Actually, I might even want to do a top spin here. That might land me in, in the other bunker. I, I'm actually pretty concerned about that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Ow. See, that's so silly. The tiniest little ridge there ended up knocking us back. Okay, we're in the short rough. Honestly, for this course, not too big of a deal. Short rough is actually sort of good news. Okay, so I think about here would be acceptable. Four mile per hour wind. Okay, we're charging. Boom, knocked out Koopa. We landed in the pit though. That's a really deep pit. We're so close. It's so far. Can we beat Todette here? It's all about the putting. Come on. Can we beat her? Ah, oh, it's so close. And we just barely. <laughs> all right. Wow. Getting pretty crazy at this point. That was so close. Only Koopa hasn't gotten it in. His charging junk was two seconds behind us and Toadette was two seconds behind him. Crazy. But another first place win for us. As you can see, four points in total. It's Wario. I didn't even know Wario was on this course. Haven't even seen him yet. Weird that we've had multiple holes. Yes, Wario and Waluigi. We've had multiple holes on like different characters, but there's still some we have like Hammock over there. This is a huge one. Okay, we gotta land on Wario's big green nose here. I think that's a good move. Probably don't wanna go full power, but I think we go from Wario's nose to Waluigi's overalls, and then onto his nose there. I think that'd be a pretty big sequence of moves there. Everybody else is going the other direction as well, which I think is gonna play to our, our chances, because they are pretty close to some power-ups. You ready? Charge again. It is quite a long run. Getting some cardio in today, aren't I? Okay, so we are on the green. That's what we want to see. There goes one of the specials. That goes so far. Charge and Chuck with a major distance. Okay, so we could actually go with the special here. Wow. That's actually crazy. We're making way more distance here than I was anticipating. Ah. Look at his voice is sort of scary when, it, when it's angry. I, I don't like it. Oh boy. Well, there goes my ball, I think. Actually, no, it didn't get hit there? Interesting, it is so close to the hole then, right? Yeah, very close. Come on, come on, come on, I gotta run over. The eagle putt, I believe. There it is. We got the eagle. Nice eagle. Wow, huge celebration for Wiggler. That was gonna be a major point bonus for us because Koopa Troopa's coming in second. Toadette in third? Yeah, it looks like third. If, if uh, Turd and Chuck could have scored that before, could have stolen it from Toadette. Really good. So I think we've done the optimal route through that one, at least for a character with our power level. Uh, 38 points, we're starting to build up a lead as hole 14 comes in. It's still Wario and Waluigi. We can do that. Okay, so I'm thinking, yeah, send it to this corner over here with that backwind. It's a little bit of a problem, or the headwind. But I think we can make this work. Send it right down this way and then right on the Wario's nose. And I think we'll be golden. Yeah, I'd love to hear what are your thoughts on Wiggler and this brand new course so far. So far, I'm enjoying both of them. Wiggler's very cute. When Wiggler's not scary, Wiggler is very cute. I guess that's the whole thing about Wiggler, right? 
And this course, very dynamic, very intense in a lot of ways. We landed on the green. It's great. I'm gonna just charge right into the ball. I think that's acceptable. There's a headwind, so it's, it's all concerning, but. And I should, if I jump off this cloud, I get that star coin. Nice snag, I think. Oh, yeah, actually, we ended up making some good choices there. Can't use my special here, of course, because we're punting. But there we have it. Hole 14 in the bag. I don't think there's any way we can get worse in first place here. Charger and Chuck, I don't know what he was doing with that putt. A little weird, but maybe just playing it a bit more safe. Guess it's better to get it next to the hole than far past it. Oh, Toto's gonna miss that one as well. Okay, not bad. So that means there are four more holes remaining. Hole 15 is gonna be on Kamek. Okay, so we get to experience this one. There is a lot of that stone here as well. Certainly scary, but I'm at a good setup for it. I think we can just land right here and even make that roll forward a bit. Kind of land right on his eye. Sounds a little painful, doesn't it? Okay. And go. This one feels like such a celebration too. There's fireworks in the air, these, there's uh, coins everywhere. Pretty cool. Feels like a celebration of Mario stuff. Okay, we got there pretty well. So with this one, should I use my special? Should I save it? I think I should save it. Can I um, deploy the super backspin there? Oh, got a couple more coins I don't even need. Okay, that did knock me back, thank goodness. Go, go, go. Oh, it didn't count. See, that was so weird, because the ball had stopped rolling. I think we just can hit this straight in. Can we beat Koopa Troopa though? Yes, we can just barely beat Koopa Troopa. Wow. So at this point, I think we're far enough ahead that we don't have to worry about it too much. I think we've got the win here. We're gonna keep trying, of course, and see where it ends up getting us, but there we go. 46 points for Wiggler. We're on the boo now, which once again, I totally didn't even realize. Oh, is there Bowser over there? I think so. See, there's still more to experience. You know, this might be the time to go for the special. It won't be a home and run, a home run, a hole in one because of that, but it's okay. I think this is still a good move to make. Wilger gets all worked out. Oh yeah, that was definitely a good move. Okay, we're gonna keep charging, keep charging. And then right here, can I get it in? Oh, that was a little bit close one, but we got it. Awesome work. Luther always gives me such good memories. Uh, I know that like, I don't think it was the first Mario game that Wiggler appeared in was Super Mario World. Might've been Super Mario Bros. 3, but I remember Wiggler a lot from Super Mario World. Definitely gives me some good memories. I think it was that. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna get mixed up. Hmm. I guess, I guess I gotta look down Wiggler's history, see what games Wiggler's been in. I know Wiggler's definitely been in some of the newer Mario games, the new Super Mario Bros. Bros games for sure. But here we are with Bowser and his clown car. Hole 17, so it's the second to last one. I think we wanna land a little bit more here, because this is definitely a safer zone if we try than if we try here. If we go for this one, there's a lot more opportunity to sort of roll where we need to. So I think that's that's what we'll go for. You have to be a bit careful because of the nine mile per hour wind that's pushing us sort of in the other direction. So trying to be aware of that. Ooh, end up being in the rough then. No, we're in the fairway. I'm the only one without a special here. But they're launching all theirs in before mine, so I think I'll be okay, except for Koopa. Koopa can make a big upset. Oh, there's my ball. I have made a mistake. Yikes. Um, you know what, we're gonna make good out of a bad situation. Hit that up there. Will it roll in? Not quite. 
but I could nice. still beat a couple of people. It's still a good recovery. Hit it right in, beat these two, come on. There we go. It's something. We got par, it was still in one minute. I honestly don't mind. We got three points instead of uh, four. Not a big deal. We're still 12 points ahead of Todak, who's in second. As we head into the final hall, right on Bowser's forehead. Hmm. The nine mile per hour wind, you really need to factor that in. I could try for over this way. A lot of stone means a lot of distance covered when it bounces. This is a big risk, but I'm so far ahead in points that it may not even matter. I could get last place here. Oh, going for the big bounces. Oh, there's another one. Oh, played that well. Oh no, straight into that bunker, of course. <laughs> I was like, okay, there's these small bunkers. What are the odds it's gonna land in one? Apparently pretty high. Okay, it's fine though. Well, maybe it's not. I think we just wanna land in the fairway here. So if we could just do a bit of that. And that is the fairway, all right. So this is our chance to catch up. We need to really send it flying. I think that's appropriate. Oh, it's gonna have quite the curve on it. Got some good coins, so I could use my special poison for the fact that, oh, that's gonna not be good. I ran into that. Oh, Koopa's in a rough spot. But look at where we are. Come on, come on. So I won't be able to use my special here, but that's okay. Full charge, just send it. Well, it's not full charge, but nice. pass the flag. So there we go, I think I still got the win. Even for this one, when disaster was seeming to strike, we made it work at the end. All right, pretty cool. Oh, poor George and Chuck, he's not happy about the results. But I'm pretty happy about everything. It was rough at first. There was a point in time we were in dead last, but not too much of a hope. But look at this, we end it with a win because we just kept going. 57 points is definitely not bad. So definitely let me know how you've been doing on this course and with Wiggler. But getting a win for Wiggler is always fun. And we're not quite done in today's episode. There was still one more thing I wanted to take a look at back in the main menu, a little bit more content that was added, um, was in the solo challenge section. Not only are there now Target Golf solo challenges, but we checked out tar Target Golf last episode. I wanted to check out one one on one putt, which is weirdly a tongue twister. Play 18 holes of one on one putt. You get one shot to find the green and one putt to get the ball in the hole. You can also clear each hole by sinking your tee shot. So I don't exactly know what, what that entails, but we're gonna find out together. We're gonna play Wiggler. Uh, I guess for right now we can only do New Donk City and Shell Top Sanctuary. We'll do New Donk City um, because I know that the courses are a bit smaller and it's New Donk City. It's just fun to play around in. So yeah, let's get started with it. Hole one, par three. But I don't think we get a par of three, actually. It, it's sort of weird. That might have been a little too much, to be honest with you. Guess we're gonna find out. Oh, we can speed it up, too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that could have been all in one. The only hole in one I've gotten has been on this course. Nice. So there we go, hole one clear. And does somebody else go now? I guess not. Maybe I, I should have said that for computer opponents. I don't know if I did. Once again, I think that's a little too far. We're gonna find out. Oh, come on. And then once again, tapping in. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. You get one shot and then you get one more shot on the green. It seems like a weird game mode, to be honest. Maybe it doesn't work the best in New Donk City. But with that wind involved, that actually didn't need the super backspin. We're just gonna hit straight in. I think we'll be fine. Yep, we're fine. Nice. Wiggler can barely fit in that intersection now, or the alleyway, I guess it is. All right, this one has hole in one written all over it. Never mind. Nice. But it was close, really close. Okay, should be good with this, and we are. I mean, so far nice. it seems like we're doing this well. Hole four clear. It's so weird. I think he I want to be a little bit more careful with this one because of the wind. Okay, we got it on there. 
so far, it actually isn't that bad. Nice. <laughs> I love Wiggler's little dance all sped up. It looks so ridiculous. Okay, oh, it was so close, come on. I'm dying for that hole in one. There we go, got something there. Now this one gets a little bit trickier. Gotta respect the fact that we have a tailwind. Nice approach. Yeah, nice approach indeed. So far, all of the actual putting areas are quite nice. flat, which makes it pretty easy to just put it straight in if you just get it on the green. Nice I think that was good. Good enough. Nice there we have it. Nice. Nice. Might have to try a different hole because this one, or not a different course altogether. Because this one just feels too easy, even, I dare say. Ah, oh, as I almost get the hole in one again. And then we just tap it in. Nice. So we are halfway through already. Come on. With just a simple backsman, it's almost there. There we go. Nice. So far we have more or less like a perfect run going on. I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. I think a super backspin's appropriate. Oh yeah, okay, it was definitely worth the uh, the super backspin. Cause we're doing quite well, but there is actually a pretty small margin of error here overall. I think. Okay, let's try that out. Oh, come on. And then we just tap it in, no problem. Nice. It would be cool if there was like one shot here that was like across the entire city. I just don't really get that for some reason. I wonder if I could just put it. Technically you could. I feel like that's almost a better idea. Considering the circumstance, we're gonna go for it. Hope it doesn't hit the leg of the umbrella. It does. Ooh. Ooh, maybe this is a mistake. We're in the fringe. Fail. Oh, no, so that doesn't count. You need to get it on the green in that first stroke. It's not just about doing it in a, a par of two. Oh, and once you mess up. Okay, I understand now. I was just worried because most of the time I try to hit it on, over the umbrella, it bounces off the umbrella and goes off the side of the building. We're gonna give up there. I get the idea of the game mode. It doesn't seem too bad. But uh, the, uh, the concept is you need to get it on the green in one stroke and then get it from the green into the hole in another stroke. Very interesting challenge for sure. I don't think it's something we need to complete to understand though. So yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on the one on one, was it one on one putt? challenge. I get it a little bit more now. Pretty cool. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Golf Super Rush. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.